of this threats that we expect to be fighting. Given the pace at which the enemy is developing these threats, it becomes very difficult for us to go out and develop these threats, Harrigan explained, while training against the best emerging threats in what Harrigan called open air ranges looks to test the F-35 against the best current and future air defenses, there is still much more work to be done when it comes to anticipating high-end, high-tech fast developing future threats. This is where modeling and simulation play a huge part in threat preparation, he added. One of the key reasons we bought this airplane is because the threats continue to evolve. We have to be survivable in this threat environment that has continued to develop capabilities where they can deny us access to specific objectives that we may want to achieve. This airplane gives us the ability to penetrate, deliver weapons and then share that information across the formation that it is operating in, Harrigan explained. Harrigan explained that the F-35 is engineered with what developers call open architecture, meaning it is designed to quickly integrate new weapons, software and avionics technology as new threats emerge, while the Air Force aims to prepare for the unlikely contingency of a potential engagement with near-peer rivals such as Russia or China. Harrigan explained that there is much more concern about having to confront an adversary which has purchased air defense technology from the Russians or Chinese. Harrigan emphasized that, while there is no particular conflict expected with any given specific country, the service wants to be ready for any contingency. Russian media reports have recently claimed that stealth technology is useless against their air defenses. Russian-built S-300 and S-400 air defenses are believed to be among the best in the world, in addition, the national interest has reported that Russia is now working on an S-500 system able to destroy even stealthy targets at distances up to 125 miles. Furthermore, emerging and future integrated air defense systems use faster computer processors, are better networked to one another and detect on a wide range of frequencies. These attributes coupled with an ability to detect aircraft at further distances, make air defenses increasingly able to at times detect even stealth aircraft, in some instances, with surveillance radar, many of the JSF's combat capabilities are woven into developmental software increments or drops, each designed to advance the platform's technical abilities. There are more than 10 million individual lines of code in the JSF system, engineered to travel at speeds greater than 1,100 miles per hour and able to reach Mach 1.6. The JSF is said to be just as fast and maneuverable at an F-15 or F-16 and bring in a whole range of additional functions and abilities. Overall, the Air Force plans to buy 1,763 JSF F-35A multi-role fighters, a number which will ultimately comprise a very large percentage of the service's fleet of roughly 2,000 fighter jets. So far, at least 83 F-35As are operational for the Air Force. Part of the idea with F-35 modernization is to engineer systems on the aircraft which can be upgraded with new software as threats change. Technologies such as the Acer radar, electronic attack and protection and some of the computing processing power on the airplane, can be updated to keep pace with evolving threats, Harrigan said. The Acer also brings the F-35 electronic warfare capabilities, Harrigan said. The JSF's active electronically scanned arrays, or ACES, the aircraft is able to provide a synthetic aperture rendering of air and ground pictures, in a simulated environment, F-22S from Langley AFB in Virginia could train for combat scenarios with an F-35 at Nellis AFB, Nevada, he said. The Air Force plans to bring a representation of next-generation threats and weapons to its first weapons school class in 2018. Block 2B builds upon the enhanced simulated weapons, data link capabilities and early fused sensor integration of the earlier Block 2A software drop. Block 2B will enable the JSF to provide basic close air support and fire an AMRAM, advanced medium-range air-to-air missile, JDAM, joint direct attack munition, or GBU-12, laser-guided aerial bomb, 
JSF program officials said, these emerging fourth software drop will build upon prior iterations of the software for the aircraft. The small diameter bomb to use is a technology called a tri-mode seeker, drawing from infrared, millimeter wave and laser guidance. The combination of these sensors allows the weapon to track and eliminate moving targets in all kinds of weather conditions. In terms of weapons, Block 4 will eventually enable the F-35 to fire cutting-edge weapons systems such as the small diameter bomb 2 and GBU-54, both air-dropped bombs able to destroy targets on the move. Block 4 will also increase the weapons envelope for the US variant of the fighter jet. A big part of the developmental calculus for Block 4 is to work on the kinds of enemy air defense systems and weaponry the aircraft may face from the 2020s through the 2040s and beyond. Block 4 will include some unique partner weapons including British weapons, Turkish weapons and some of the other European country weapons that they want to get on their own plane, service officials explained. The first portion of Block 4 software funding roughly $12 million, arrived in the 2014 budget, Air Force officials said. While the Air Force plans to declare its F-345S operational with the most advanced software drop, called 3F, the service is already working on a fourth drop to be ready by 2020 or 2021. Following this initial drop, the aircraft will incorporate new software drops in two-year increments in order to stay ahead of the threat. This milestone was the first in a series of test flights to functionally evaluate the in-flight operation of the F-35 as internal 25mm gun throughout its employment envelope, a Pentagon statement said several months ago. The Gatling gun will bring a substantial technology to the multi-role fighter platform, as it will better enable the aircraft to perform air-to-air -air attacks and close air support missions to troops on the ground. Last fall, the Pentagon's F-35 Joint Strike Fighter recently completed the first aerial test of its 25mm Gatling gun embedded into the left wing of the aircraft, officials said. The AIM-9X, he described incorporates an agile thrust vector controlled airframe and the missile's high off-bore sight capability can be used with an advanced helmet, or a helmet-mounted sight, for a wider air attack envelope, designed as part of the developmental trajectory for the emerging F-35. The test firing facilities further development of an ability to fire the weapon off-bore sight, described as an ability to target and destroy air-to-air -air targets that are not in front of the aircraft with a direct or immediate line of sight, Pentagon officials explained. The F-35 took off from Edwards Air Force Base, California, and launched the missile at 6,000 feet, an Air Force statement said. In fact, the F-35 Joint Strike Fighter fired an AIM-9X Sidewinder Infrared Guided Air-to-Air -air Missile for the first time recently over a Pacific Sea test range, Pentagon officials said. Block 3F will increase the weapons delivery capacity of the JSF as well, giving it the ability to drop a small diameter bomb, 500-pound dam and AIM-9X short-range air-to-air missile, service officials explained, following Block 2B. Block 3